too old to be a child prodigy, too young to be president, but just the right age to shoplift from Target. <laughs> Despite my punk rock appearance, I don't usually have... Don't laugh. <laughs> I don't usually have my finger on the pulse of new music. I'm famously a Swifty, because I'm... <laughs> because I'm a real Taylor's Taylor. <laughs> but I do think I have discovered the song of the summer on TikTok. I'm looking for a man in finance, the trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. Finance, trust fund. Six five, blue eyes. I'm looking for a man, I'm looking for a man, I'm looking for a, looking for a, looking for a, looking for a, looking for a. Yup. Yup, it's the song of the summer and the Tinder bio of your next biggest regret. <laughs> This video has been viewed over 40 million times already. Ooh. Yeah, it's so catchy, it's actually making me raise my dating standards. <laughs> like, I was dating a super rich guy in finance, but he's only 6'2", so I dumped his short ass. <laughs> you know, call me when you get femur elongating surgery, loser. <laughs> this girl on my phone told me I can do better. <laughs> This man in finance song has sparked tons of great remixes and covers, like... Finance, the trust fund. Six five, and they are. Man in finance, trust fund. Six five, and they are. Finance, trust fund. Six five, and they are. Yeah. You didn't think it could get better, but then it did. <laughs> The EDM community has been eating this up faster than an unmarked pill handed to them by a guy in a robot helmet. Non-musicians have also been making dating requests. I'm looking for a man who listens. Any height. Any guy. Any height. Yeah. Any guy. A little more relatable, right? Yeah. Dating is hard. That's a universal experience. In fact, the government in Tokyo just announced that their plan to combat the rapidly declining birth rate in Japan is by launching their own dating app. Yeah. You know it's a bad situation when even the government is like, we are having a critical shortage in Riz. <laughs> But this is not the move, government. It's hard enough to find somebody who meets my standards, that my friends like, that my siblings get along with. Now my senator needs to think they're hot? It's too much. Apparently, there's a thorough registration process that requires users to submit documentation to prove they're legally single. OK, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Legally single? OK, I'm back in. I'm back in. I've had situationships before, but I never thought the Supreme Court would rule on Taylor versus f boy. <laughs> also, don't you think the biggest roast you've ever heard is the government telling you, yeah, your whole aura really screams legally single? <laughs> well, I'm looking for a crowd with big laughs, loud smiles, 6'5, still 6'5. <laughs> Welcome to After Midnight! Guests, you know her from home economics and can see her in the new Marvel series, Agatha, all along in September. It's Sashir Zameda! She's a stand-up comedian and actor you can hear on The Great North on Fox. It's Aparna Nancherla! the writer and director of horror movie Outpost, who you know from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, it's Joe <laughs> What an entrance. What an entrance. Tonight you'll all be playing for this rubber band ball. Ooh. It looks simple, but it took a really long time to make, so really cherish it, guys, whoever wins that. Uh, just to break the ice, I just wanted to ask all of you, what's better than a 6'5 man in finance? Uh, a bear? <laughs> yeah. She's a bear. She's a bear. Bear every time. Every time bear. Yeah. How about you guys? I was gonna say, uh, universal basic income. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know, Taylor, you gotta be careful what you wish for, because you marry this uh, tall guy in finance and you get the house, and you know, your kids go to Ivy League school, and then, uh, and then you gotta ask yourself, though, are you still in touch with your improv team? <laughs> because, you know, a tall, rich guy may be rich, but he's never gonna be able to play Zig Zag Zug. That's Zig. so true. Zig! Yeah. 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 Zug. It seems like everyone's fighting these days. Drake and Kendrick, God and Satan, and now the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans? Please don't call me twin. I don't look like you, bad bitch, and I'm cocky. Make her hating her uncomfortable. She thinks she first. Gotta be April Fool. Bitch wanna be messy, so I came in this bitch with a room. Guys, stop it. You're sisters. <laughs> People on TikTok have been making videos like this one that make it seem like the Pacific and Atlantic oceans are beefing. Anyone who watches this show knows I hate drama. So guys, <laughs> tell these oceans to squash the beef. So sure. You were so close during Pangea, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, guys, you're wasting the last good years of your lives. <laughs> it hurts, fight. but it's true. Atlantic, Pacific, you're both fine. We all know the Indian Ocean is the true queen. <laughs> As a little pandering. <laughs> little pandering. They love it. it they all fly out. out. <laughs> they did, they handled that perfectly. <laughs> We all have our boundaries. Like when my doctor says, how are you feeling? I put up a boundary by saying, that's none of your business, leave me alone. I get, I get real aggressive with my doctor. <laughs> but one person on the internet has declared himself the king of boundaries for how he responded to a friend's text. The friend texted, hope you've been having a good day, I'm stressed out, and you've normally got words of wisdom. To which he replied, Hey, sorry to hear you aren't doing well. We haven't been in meaningful contact in almost a month offline. Therefore, I'd ask that you seek your care work from somebody else who you have been consistent with. Yeah, take that, you inconsistent swine. Harsh but fair, maybe this guy's onto something. What makes you all the king of boundaries? Sashir. It was my birthday, so I stole someone's credit card because I'm not afraid to take up space. Yeah. <laughs> Aparna. Uh, my house got robbed and the police came and they were like, what did they take? And I was like, I don't owe you my story. <laughs> <laughs> Joe? My, uh, my waiter kept coming over and asking, you know, how's everything tasting? And I would be like, you're just anxiously attached to me. We got to unpack that. <laughs> Let's unpack that. Yeah. 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 I hate when that happens. That's funny. Whenever I'm in restaurants, I'm anxiously attached to my credit card. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a fact. The elderly are old. And <laughs> as such, they know what they want and how to get it. Like the grandfather of this ex-user who posted, my grandpa will use any excuse to go to Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> Accompanied by this text message, hello, beautiful granddaughter. Can I treat you to Texas Roadhouse <laughs> to celebrate your success? Love you, Grandpa D. <laughs> that is so sweet. My grandpa never celebrates my generic unspecified success. <laughs> This guy is one smooth talker, so as this grandfather, make any excuse to go to Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> Abarna. You just split up with your husband. Let's celebrate by splitting a dumb piece of meat at Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so sure. Uh-oh, my car broke down. And look, we're right outside Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> You know, your grandmother always told me she wanted her ashes spread over a loaded baked potato. <laughs> and I owe it to her. She was wonderful. Good. <laughs> extra protein. Yeah. Yeah, extra yeah, protein. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a protein? <laughs> extra protein, yeah. So? <laughs> oh, man. Woo. <laughs> Everybody's talking about crime. I can't say it like that. <laughs> Everybody's talking about crime these days, and now I am too. A prolific thief in England reportedly stole 17 tubes of Pringles. <laughs> when he was eventually apprehended, he said, quote, once you pop, you can't stop. That's true. That's true. Very true. That is Which, true. 
Which is annoying, because that's the joke I was gonna make. <laughs> he stole my chips and then my joke, that thieving son of a bitch. <laughs> so, uh, guys, there's an unlabeled generic cylinder of chips on my podium right now. I'm gonna turn around, and it better be here when I'm back. Yeah. You thought would take it. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm done being turned around now. <laughs> oh my God, where? Where's my generic unlabeled cylinder of chips? Who took them? Who took them? Uh, we, are, we are an improv team and we would never rat on each other. <laughs> I think it was Joe. Does Joe have them? How did you guess that? Oh! Is it Joe? I have them! Oh, man! Unbelievable. Can I still share with some? Maybe? Have one. Are you gonna eat them? Really? Ooh, Go for it. Eat them? This is fun. Wow. Because you want some potato we, chips. Oh, my God! We don't fun. know how old those are. What? Oh, really? I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give everyone 200 points for their bravery eating those chips. Oh. Wow. Love a chip. Rabbit Impressive. When we come back, we're doing the hot dads game. You know the one I'm talking about. Stick around. Woo!